Rich Barton is chairman of Zillow and he's also a co-founder of Expedia. Lots of experience with internet companies. So the question is, is how does he find the one that's going to be a winner? I mean, Rich, you see so many companies and, and even just walking here, you, you're getting pitched right and left. How does a company stand out as something special? All right. So to me, investing is about two pretty simple things. I'm an early stage investor, angel and A round, and I start lots of companies too. A quality of the team all right that's the most important thing because early stage you never end up doing what you think you're gonna do when you start out it always changes so you need a really good team that can figure out where to go okay figure out where to fish so I'm, this is a boat we've got fishermen we need really good fishermen all right second we need a really big pond okay so where they are fishing needs to be able to be something huge you can have really skilled fishermen, but if they're fishing in a little puddle, they're not going to catch any fish, even if they do really well. So those are the those are the two kind of big investing principles that I, I think about. But uh, in terms of kind of narrowing down the world for me, I like consumer companies. I like to build consumer brands. Okay, I like companies that don't need to spend lots of marketing to build their brands because they've got great, unique content. I like stuff that empowers consumers, like with Expedia and with Zillow and with Glassdoor, some of you guys may know. Uh, I, I co-founded that, I'm the chairman there. I love these power to the people companies and so I have a pretty narrow focus. The, the B2B stuff and the enterprise software stuff and all of that is all great and you see lots of that uh, uh, up here. I'm not interested in that stuff. I just tune it out, not because it's bad, it's just I'm not interested. So let's talk about hotels tonight. Um, yeah. You know, I guess I didn't realize there are that many people that want to find a hotel room that right night. Now. Okay, so Hotel Tonight is a mobile only, so it's only on the smartphone uh, app for finding a hotel room on the day of your stay. And then off oftentimes I think the rooms aren't released until noon of that day. But it's this super elegant, beautiful interface where Hotel Tonight has done the editorial for you. They've chosen the three best hotels near you and they're offering great deals because they're last minute deals and with one click, you're there and it's doing incredibly well. It's by the, the CEO, the entrepreneur, is a guy named Sam Shank, and he's really doing well. Just did a big round. I, do you yeah. think they're going to go public? Do I think they're going to go public? Hopefully someday. <laughs> the, the Italians say, Magari, if only. Um, uh, if only, yes, hopefully someday, but it, we're still, it's still pretty early days. Uh, All right. And although what, this what was else, a big round. So. What else is uh, the, the other sites that really jumps out at you? Uh, other sites that really jump out at me? Well, it's stuff that's going on in my world that's, uh, that's going really well. Glassdoor, I was, I was telling you about. I think lots of journalists use it, but lots of people who are shopping for jobs use it as well. We get on the order of 15 million unique users a month that come to the site. We don't spend any advertising to get there. The content, salary content, what's it like to work there, what's the CEO approval rating. Uh, this is all provocative information you can't get any, uh, anywhere else. Do you, do you worry really like on a, on a glass door? I mean, yeah. you can have a, a, a CEO ask interns to go in and write, you know, great glowing reviews of a company. How do you counteract that? You know, we're really good. You, we're, we're, the collective world of, let's say, TripAdvisor and everything it has spawned including Yelp and all these ratings and review sites, many of which I'm, I'm involved in. We are getting very good with machines to detect when bad behavior is happening. We, we do. So we have smart machines working on the problem. We also have human touching, humans that touch every review that gets submitted. Anything that looks funky, you know what? We get so many reviews, we just throw it out. Uh, so it's not that big a deal, especially when you've got lots of liquidity in reviews. All right, what's in store for, yeah. for Zillow next? All right, Zillow. Zillow is all about uh, mobile right now. Okay, so as great as Zillow was for years on the desktop computer, it's even better when you have it on your mobile phone, and that's because it's GPS enabled and you can see homes on a map. So you're walking around or driving around a neighborhood you're interested in, or your neighborhood, and you're just snooping, Zillow lo geolocates you and then all of a sudden, bang, you've got this, this, this uh, magic view of the neighborhood around you. I see that house is for sale because it has a sign in front, but now I know that it's on sale for $389,000. And why don't I flip through a few pictures of what's what's inside that house now? I turn that way. Oh, the one across the street just sold for four hundred twenty-five thousand. That's interesting. Oh, and I see a estimate everywhere. Anyway, it's a better mobile app. Sixty percent of Zillow's visits now. Zillow got sixty-four million users last month. Unique users last month. Sixty percent of our visits are now mobile. So Zillow is now a mobile company. We are all in on mobile, and that's our future. All right. Well, it sounds like mobile is a future for most internet companies. 
That's Rich Barton. He is chairman of Zillow. And I'm Deborah Warchart reporting from TechCrunch in San Francisco for The Street.